Today we're going to practice rounding without a number line. The directions say complete each statement by rounding the number to the given place value. 6,299 rounded to the nearest thousand is. I'm going to underline the digit in the thousands place first, and that is the six. I'm going to look at my rounding buddy, the digit right next door to the right, for my rounding rules. I can still think of my benchmarks. If I have a six in the thousands place, my two options for benchmark numbers would be 6,000 or 7,000. My middle number would be 6,500. Because I have a two in the hundred place, I know it would be smaller than 6,500, so my number would round to 6,000. The next number is 36,599 rounded to the nearest thousand again. I'm going to underline the digit in the thousands place and the digit right next door would be my rounding buddy. The other math rules that we learned in third grade is a rhyme, a very helpful rhyme, five and above, give it a shove, four or less, let it rest. So I'm going to look at that five for my rounding rules. The rhyme said, five or above, give it a shove. I see a five there, so I need to give the six a shove. So the six would become a seven. I keep the three in front and everything else turns to zeros. Let's practice a word problem. It's so very important that when we have word problems, we underline and circle the important information. This helps us find the important numbers and tells us what to do with those numbers. It also helps us make sure that the answer that we're putting down is based on the question they asked, not the question we think they asked. This question says, Empire Elementary School needs to purchase water bottles for field day. There are 2,142 students. Principal Vadar rounded to the nearest hundred to estimate how many water bottles to order. Will there be enough water bottles for everyone? Explain. I know I will need to use the number 2,142 and I have to round it to the nearest hundred. I can use the vertical line like we practiced before or I can use mental math and use my rhyme. I'm going to use the rhyme. First, I know I need to round to the nearest hundred. So I'm going to underline the hundreds place and draw an arrow to my rounding buddy. The rhyme said, five or above, give it a shove. Four or less, let it rest. I see a four, so I know the two and the one are going to rest and stay the same. The other digits will turn into zeros. If I go back to my problem, I've used the number in the problem. I've rounded to the nearest hundred. Now I go to the question. Will there be enough water bottles for everyone? 2,100 is less than the number of students that are going to the school. So I know there will not be enough water bottles. I answered that question. I still have to explain. How do I know there won't be enough water bottles? If there's 2,142 students, and 2,100 bottles ordered, the school will be short 42 water bottles. That's my next sentence. If 2,100 bottles are ordered, the school will be 42 bottles short. And I'm going to check mark that I've explained. I've used the number. I rounded it to the nearest hundred like they asked. I answered the question that they asked me 
and I explained my answer.